नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टीज फाइव डे ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग ऑन डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ ई कॉन्टेंट ऑडियो रिसोर्सेज माई नेम इस तानवी खुराना एट दिस मोमेंट यू वॉचिंग आर्स ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर सिक्स टू चैनल नंबर ट्वेल्व टूडे इज द लास्ट डे वेर द क्विज लिंक विल बी गिवन टू यू If you have not registered or participated in this program in this online training yet I would request you to please do it. Day 1 we discussed uh, the audio resources its policy perspectives its uh, format concept and scope day 2 we discussed the process of developing audio resources day 3 we discussed recording editing and evaluation of audio resources and uh, day 4 we discussed force for developing audio resources and here we are with day 5 where we are going to discuss dissemination of audio resources well uh the expert that we have today he is going to show you a presentation and uh, he also has some demonstration to show you if you have any questions any queries related to this topic related to this online training please reach out to us you can simply call us on our number which is 8800440559 If you want to reach out through our YouTube channel, that is N C E R T official. In the live chat box, you can write down your questions, your queries, and share them with us. Till five o'clock, our expert is going to be here, and uh, he'll be answering all your questions, all your doubts towards the end of the program. Let me tell you, if you just want to email us, the email ID would be training dot help desk at the rate c i e t dot n i c dot i n. And uh, I have two things to tell you. That uh, one is if you participate in the quiz and you scores more than 70% then you will be awarded a certificate but not instantly please allow us a 30 day time uh, for giving you for allotting you the certificates with each and every proper detail so please have some patience and uh, give us 30 days you will get your certificates for sure and uh, The other thing is there is no attendance link you do not have to ask for any attendance you do not have to mark attendance anywhere all you need to do is register yourself and uh, fill in correct information that's all you have to do well apart from that uh, i also want to tell you that this entire online training on development of e content audio resources has been organized by CIET and CRT Let me please introduce to you my guest for today and he is Mr Parveen Kumar so a very warm welcome to you Namaste everyone thank you ma'am Thank you thank you so much sir sir is an assistant professor from Amity University Tashkent Uzbekistan and I have a lot of queries to ask him But before we begin this discussion I have an information to tell you that is regarding India's G20 presidency. We are extremely proud of the fact that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year that is 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of vasudhaiva kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family vasudhaiva kutumbakam also translates to one earth one family one future and that is exactly the theme of this year's india's g20 presidency Let's begin this conversation. Without further ado, I would like to ask, sir, sir, what is it that we are going to discuss in this particular program? Uh, how would you describe dissemination of audio resources? Over to you, sir. Uh, Ma'am, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Namaskar, namaste. Now we talk about audio resources. We talk about development of uh, audio resources, e-content. We talk about dissemination of audio resources. The very first word from my side, which goes from India to the world, is Vasudev Kutumb Kam. Kutumb. It's a, it's a family. So technology is also a family, and every technological tool should belong to teachers, should belong to learners first. So today's session, which is fifth in the series of a very nice program organized by CIET and NCERT, in which we are talking about audio resources, how we can create them, and how we are going to distribute them. So today's session is going to be about discrimination removal from the video and audio thing. We'll be talking about how we can make audio content. that you have already learned in four sessions today how you can take it to the audience so ma'am today we will be talking about distribution platforms for audio resources 
Okay. So, shall we begin, sir? Sure. So, this is a journey, everyone. I request everyone to stay with us for the whole session so that some of the questions you will be having in between will be answered later on and will be answered during the process of it as well. So, as we start and uh, the bhasha thing or we call about uh, just one thing about India, the kant ki parampara. So, we, have, we, uh, we are the people who are actually the people from the generation which believes in going from one generation to another generation, be it the Vedas, be it our knowledge or even the folk stories from Dadi and Nani as well. So we started when we started on the 26th of June and on 38th, you, you need to see one agenda that we have. I, I'll try to justify this thing while podcasting. I mean, audio resources is fine. On WhatsApp, you're sending audios. You have started sending audios and other social media applications also. But why we need to bring audio into an organized form? Why? And how it is going to be done? How you are going to develop the content? You have seen it in sessions. The free open source software Audacity was discussed yesterday. My task, my responsibility is to hand over this anchor to step ahead so that you don't stop just by making the content. There were two questions which came yesterday during the live chat. I shall be answering them to pitch and to launch today's session. Distribution of audio. Just understand dissemination and distribution in a way that you want to write a book. Now, you have written a book. You go to the publisher. The publisher is going to take this book to the libraries and to the bookshops. So we need to find out those platforms where we take our audio e-content so that other people can also have access to it. Right now, I will reject Google Drive or OneDrive or any cloud thing so that we treat audio as audio and we do not treat it as a file so that, you know, you upload some data on it and it is not data. It is something else. It is in need of something called streaming. So you upload videos on YouTube, but where do we upload audios? Only audios. We'll be talking about of course, we cannot avoid a discussion or a mention of artificial intelligence and audios and learning management system and podcast dissemination relation we'll talk about. I'm going to begin with this thing now. This was session one. You have uh, seen the policies, the perspectives, the concepts, and then you moved on to digital storytelling process. I was also learning all these things with you. Then we moved to radio magazine structure like uh, with children, with students, with fellow teachers, with your community as well. Don't forget the community. Do not forget that you are not just an educator or a learner. You are a different human being who has to give something back to the society, which is going to be inclusive, of course. So you create a song, drama, interview, all these things you have created. You have uh, created it with a condenser microphone that I'm also using in today's session. You have created it on Audacity. You have followed all the policies. You have followed the copyright norms and everything. Everything has been done. But what after that? I mean, I have cooked something. I have made some good sweets. I have to sell it to people or I have to take it to people so that they can have it. How will I do it? Now, two questions that happened in yesterday's chat. I will answer the second one first. Can this software, Audacity, teach phonetics and pronunciation of words? My subject also happens to be English and communication skills, as yesterday as our resource person was also from the same subject. Phonetics is about uh, the international phonetic alphabet, which is about pronunciation. That we can learn. We can improve it by speaking, but we cannot learn it here. For that, OxfordDictionaries.com website is there. There are certain applications that provide transcription of phonetics coding. So you can take help from there now coming to this thing that uh, smartphones can we use them yes but how can we play our resources how can we i mean uh, take all these resources to our students suppose you are in a higher education class or you are in a school education class where will you play it if you play it just as an mp3 file on a normal speaker or a normal you say the sound system of the school or you will be putting it in an organized way so that not just your students in the classroom or your listeners around you listen it it should go worldwide so we move on to justify and accept it the reason is technology changes the way we use it i happen to repeat this thing many times because like i can use a knife as a weapon also to do wrong things but i better use it as a tool in the kitchen so that that acceptability is required but what do we need in audio content that you need to upload so if you wish to upload something 
to the websites like maybe some of you can easily put it in the chat box on YouTube as well. Spotify, Ghana.com, uh, Hangama, Geo7, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Audible, Amazon Music and if I have missed something, Wink as well. So you can put it in the chat box if you are using some of them or maybe all of them then. So what should be there in your audio content if you wish to stream it? Let me, uh, let me explain streaming. On YouTube, you upload it and other people can play it on their mobile phone, iPads, laptops, TV, smartphones, everything is there. So you need to create engagement, interactions. We discussed it in the four days. There, there is a competition. I mean, if I'm going to put something, there are people who will make a choice because after all, it's a remote button or it is just a mouse click. Next, free of cost. Find out a platform which is free of cost. Find out a platform which encourages collaboration coming together Vasudev Kutumkam again so you also need to contribute to open educational resources how can we do it how can uh, we find out uh, the dissemination or distribution platforms where we can create stocks that other people can use Wikipedia we know YouTube we know do we have certain places students audio interest keep it in mind the student I'm a student you are a student everyone has uh, this interest in audio after all audio listening is our fundamental uh, skill we have documentation so when you're recording something be it a folk tale be it about G20 be it about uh, any accreditation system be it about stories or anything you're also documenting a language you're documenting knowledge another thing is assessment if you are going to use it ever in uh, education, you and I should be able to assess our students also. After all, language is requiring uh, into something like language should be assessed. We should know it. Appreciation. After all, all of us believe that if you have written a poem and you are hiding it below the pillow, you wish that some friend will pick it and will run and you'll run after them and you'll say, no, this is my personal diary. Still, you wish the world should know your feelings. World also needs to know your knowledge listening skills as i mentioned is also there accessibility i would call it a call for inclusiveness so uh, all those learners all those our good friends who are who are not able to see or read it they, they might be using braille of course to read but what about this accessibility of listening so audio is one of the prime thing for them in which we can provide them content which can explain things to them without visual of course but we can create those visuals with words affordability in terms of uh, time, how much time it takes to create a video and how much time it takes to create an audio. How much time you will need to buy a mobile phone with a good camera. But you have a sound recorder in your mobile phone, you go to the lesson, you go to a meeting, put it on the desk, record everything you are speaking, come back on, on Audacity. If you wish to trim some portions, do it. Otherwise, whatever you speak, when you speak with heart, when you have a good intent, nothing can stop it from being filled with the quality that way so we talk about inclusiveness whenever we are making anything so any platform that i will talk about or you will search to distribute your podcasts your audio e-content just fi find out that the application the smartphone application or the website or the desktop software app should be uh, easy to use then so what are the touchstones dear friends affordability now this is the confusion that you see new age technologies are overlapping now the intent on this slide is what the intent is it's all a confusion over choice as elvin toffler says that i don't know which mobile phone to buy there are so many platforms right now i will suggest one and all good learners will put up in in, in the chat box as well or they will know more applications so what are the touchstones with which you should make your e-content live longer on internet, on web? It should be affordable. People should be able to listen to it with less, uh, I would say, internet uh, expenses. Audio is, of course, that one. You should be consistent. If you try to send things on WhatsApp, you can send a happy birthday message once a year, of course, to your friend. But when you are trying to create a good relation with someone in, into the, the learning journey, you should be consistent, regularly send them content and collaboration. You should be keeping collaboration in your content, be consistent and try to make it uh, affordable to them. Now, why we all have come to audio? It is affordable in terms of money and time. 
there's a global trend of podcasting now and listening is fundamental so this is just a recapitulation or repetition of it the session is live so anytime you can come back and see the things now this is what i have to share the distribution of my learning of podcasting started in 2009 which is more than 13 14 years now we started a movement with the students education through social media which resulted in many podcasts coming up on soundcloud i hope you know soundcloud an older one not as older as orkut was that way so soundcloud spotify we have other applications that we mentioned so we started uploading things distributing things there so that it reached all the students even today things are being listened to so education through social media is one motive today and then we move on to educational podcasting from now onwards when i say audio e content i mean podcasts and when i say podcasts i wish that you understand podcasts as the content which is audio telecasted or casted or shared on the web so when you put something on the web we can call it podcast it is not just an audio so how to develop and how to distribute your audio e content and create audio moocs in this world this post pandemic creative learning domain i would say moocs we know the massive open online courses you can even design audio moocs forget about making anyone read just think of these courses today we are going to learn it before we end the session how people can easily i mean they they'll be surprised though how people can easily make their own course now coming first of all decide the modules decide the lesson plan make a script outline decide your curriculum i'm referring to session 1 2 3 and 4 after that select the platform so dear friends soundcloud podbean is also there hubhopper is there and let me mention the one to be to be demonstrated today spotify for podcasters so these are just names of some platforms today i'll be talking spotify you have heard spotify for podcasters hubhopper studio soundcloud and podbean these are the platforms that uh, we are going to talk about today then you record the lessons uh, you record it on mobile phone don't worry your mobile phone has got a very fine microphone you can record it on the desktop through a software not just audacity you want to buy some you can easily buy now you can take an audio recorder which are separate devices which has got a memory card that way so you can record there transfer the file to your system and then you can edit it if you wish to create discussions in the class it is like you put your mobile phone on an aeroplane mode that way and then you take it to everyone and then ask them something and that fun discussion in the class can create award winning podcasts uh CIET organizes certain competitions where you can make content with your students upload it on some streaming uh, platform send it to them in the competition and you can also get those prizes host your podcast this is the task everyone where you are going to put it it is putting on the shelf so which shelf will have your audio content and how you are going to embedding it if someone knows what is embedding i also have uh, uh, this 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 need of uh, i would say from your side what is embedding embedding is when you reading maybe some newspaper you see there is a video in the article so you you watch that video you read you watch so on the same page putting everything is called embedding now platforms for dissemination spotify for podcasters is the one we'll be talking about this was called anchor a few months ago it used to be anchor.fm then spotify renamed it because anchor was their product so spotify for podcasters is a platform where people can easily upload their content and then it will be Uh, just by spotify for podcasters it will reach google podcasts as well hubhopper podbean soundcloud now all these platforms dear friends are being suggested because these are owned by the commercial agencies however they don't charge any money so you don't pay anything to spotify for podcasters you can upload any amount any number of podcasts there hubhopper also gives the same thing podbean and soundcloud they have limitation now why do i mention these four then and this is the order Hubhopper does not have an application for iPhones which is Apple company phones Spotify has an application for both it means if you have Spotify for podcasters you can easily record within the phone and everything happens on the phone no desktop no computer required no audacity even required record and distribute and send a link to the students or embed it on your learning management system be it moodle be it canvas be it a blog on blogspot or wordpress or it is a 
complete website or you just want to send a link to the students through WhatsApp or any other medium. Now, on the left hand side are actually the two right things for us. Free public domain audiobooks. Uh, friends, this LibriVox.org is a platform where you can listen to or you can read for them as a volunteer. There are many books which are copyright free now. So for you and me, there's a chance to contribute to open educational resources. You can record and you can send it on LibriVox. That is one thing. I'm talking about Spotify for podcasters today. Internet Archive, common website for you and me to download some PDF, some ebooks, some notes many times. So these two platforms can also be used for the dissemination or distribution of your audio content. However, these are open educational resources primarily. Now let's move on to Spotify for podcasters. Uh, one thing I should not miss, that's why this star is again popping up that way. You also need background music. For example, you are speaking in Audacity also, you want to put some background music. You can download background music only from copyright free, royalty free platforms. I'm just suggesting Pixabay. You can easily find free music archives and YouTube also has an audio library. Prefer, always prefer that you use copyright free music. Spotify for podcasters. We need to move on. Now the live demonstration of platforms will happen. But before that, I need to show you these slides so that you remember these things. And the moment we move on to another tab in the browser, you will actually be knowing what is happening. Now, embedding your podcasts in these blogs that I'm showing you is so easy that you upload it on Podcasters app, which is Spotify's platform. Then you generate two links. Number one is a link, which is an HTML link, which is a code, kind of code like this thing, which is closed. You bring that code and you paste it in your websites. We'll be doing it now. Another way is you just share a link, normal sharing link, like, like you share a URL that hyperlink with everyone and they can easily access it. This page is showing a proud moment for me where my students at Amity University Tashkin, they created this, these, this set of podcasts. We have around 28, 29 mock interviews and more than 50 episodes with them. And all these episodes are recorded by students. They send it to me. I edit on uh, Audacity most of the times. And I put some background music, give an introduction, upload it on uh, Hubhopper. I'm using Hubhopper for this podcast. I'll generate a link and get it uh, to everyone or I will embed it in the blog. We'll see how. This is going to be the mobile application of uh, Spotify for podcasters, which can be downloaded even during the session by you. You will be making an account. The features of making an account on Spotify for podcasters, dear friends, it is a free website. You can content can be of any amount. Spotify does not take any money. However, you cannot make money by selling your content because you are also using it for free. The copyright remains with you. That is one thing. If anyone here is willing to sell the content, for example, I say, I oh, know I need to earn money also. I want to start a separate business of podcasting. Then I will be taking help from companies and experts who will take money from me. They will distribute it and I will be getting the royalty. Again, it's a kind of a book publication. So this is the setup of mobile application of Spotify for podcasters. Previously, anchor.fm it was. You make an account and then you find this primary screen, which is on the right hand side. There is a record button. There is a library. There is a voice message. You click on the record button. It starts recording. You stop it. The video, like uh, the one that is being recorded by you, the audio that way, will be there on the cloud. I mean. You record it, it gets saved on Spotify for podcasters. You don't need to uh, download it anywhere. It will be there in a kind of a Spotify for podcasters drive, like Google Drive that way. So it will be there. Then you make an account. So those of you who wish to do hands-on as well uh, on a separate tab, if you wish to, podcasters.spotify.com. This, this screen is there. You can keep a screenshot of it. All of you should be making an account. Of course, you need to sign up you will be getting um, a confirmation email on which you have to click. After that, your account will be active. For example, what we are doing is mobile app. You go to the application, sign up, get confirmation email, right? Go to the website. If you wish to start the website first, make an account name, email ID, set a password, give a date of birth. And after that, you will 
confirm the email and then you will reach this page not my page this is my account here you will have your page you will go to settings and you will give all these details on the setting give a name to the podcast maybe you can start it like the new life of maybe learning a teacher from the soul or maybe mathematics mantras you can talk about vasudev kutumkam podcast anything you can start you can start sanskrit lessons by mathematics teacher it can be your personal skills also so give a name to it under update settings after doing update settings you will be ready to click on new episode i'm here to demonstrate how this new episode will happen and then we'll be doing all these things so i come back and i move on to spotify for podcasters here i hope this is also visible to all of you the same way this is again a tab portion wherever you have an issue you can slightly zoom in or you can take a screenshot and then refer to this thing so this is the home page everyone on this home page you go to settings you click on update settings now steps are just to just to revise it because uh, many a times uh, you remember learning bicycle riding in the childhood for the first time the second time even if you were learning uh, like driving a car for the first second time you were slow then you learned uh, the coordination between everything and then you were the smartest one to drive or ride um, any vehicle so spend time on the interface and i promise you i can assure you i can guarantee this thing you will be like easily remembering everything go to podcasters.spotify.com free website go to it make an account confirm your account come back to the home page after that go to update settings in this update settings podcast name a description of the podcast a cover art for the podcast that you can design on canva you can design on your mobile phone some kind of a logo decide the category i'm keeping education i'm keeping teacher parv podcasts in hindi and learning radio podcasts in english so i did this then you give owner name now i mean the name of the book will be different than the name of the writers so this is the writer's name you give your email id and you give your website also if you have a website or you have a blog i shall also advise that you should uh, start a website of yours or you should at least make a blog on the free websites like blogspot or wordpress after doing all this i mean you are you are just free this is your profile when you have done the profile you will realize that there is a profile page that you can you can have so this profile page will be visible to all the people who will go to podcasters.spotify.com/teacherparv that way this is what you did but this is not our task our task is to click on new episode i will slightly zoom so that i can at least show you this thing bigger new episode on this new episode kindly keep in mind the quiz will also have questions on it so this is the studio cloud based studio internet based studio the options the options here upload audio or video now see you can say mr praveen you are confusing here what is this now audio or video i'll say upload video it will fetch it will take audio out of it so that all those uh, youtube videos that you uploaded can also be converted by you into audios you can just upload the video and uh, this anchor turned into podcasters uh, spotify.com will take audio out of it and then your podcast will be ready so audio files and video files are accepted do you want to record it or do you want to select a file i have recorded something in the morning and i want to upload that right now because it is ready i processed it from uh, audacity so what i'm doing is i'm going to click on select a file because i have shared browser so you are going to believe me that way that another window has uh, come up on which uh, that audio is there on which i'll be able to click and then get it on the screen that way so this audio that i'm going to upload here is related to a podcast a podcast episode mp3 file that way so i'll bring it and you will see that this podcast can be uploaded now so i will move on to this thing till here if there is any confusion or there is anything that i can bring back to you you can just let me know uh, if there is anything so the tashkan diaries i have got a hindi podcast which is called tashkan diaries uh, on which i'm talking about tashkan just like a travelog so i uploaded the file you can see it is uploading 66% 72% now the file is uploaded it is generating a preview which is be which is just for me to to hear or to listen let me give it a pot, uh, this thing now tashkan diaries 
और आई आई राइट इट इन हिंदी ऑल्सो ताशकन से बातें बट आई विल जस्ट डू दिस एपिसोड थर्टीन वाई लेटर ऑन आई विल एडिट इट ना ताशकन डायरी इज एपिसोड थर्टीन दिस एपिसोड ई पी आई दिस एपिसोड इज न्यू एंट्री इन टू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अ टीचर इन ताशकन you can write more i mean why i am saying why i am saying this because as a teacher i can write some description of my lesson for example i am planning a lesson on uh, commonly used foreign words in english now this is the topics these are the syllabus or i am talking about reading comprehension skills or i am talking about munshi premchand or i am talking about lessons in some other language i am talking about mathematical formulas i'll write it here i'll put a title here so what i have done now is i have recorded something i made an account i went to upload under new episode upload the audio and the audio is here so it is easy for me to find out whether my audio has reached here or not i hope this audio has reached you and then i can see that right now we are moving on to the next step so the sir, steps done sir, make an you, account sir, set that account the, ma'am sir can you play mm-hmm. the audio again okay sure ma'am no we cannot hear it uh i'll just check it out ma'am okay uh right so maybe i can take this willing suspension of disbelief from all our friends this audio will be live to all of you now this can make us prove one more thing you can easily go to spotify find out teacher per or the link that we are going to share with you uh the audio is shared from this place from zoom as well and then let me try again uh not played right no okay fine so everyone this audio will be coming to you first hand maybe you will search it and you will find it uh, uh, then again so what i'm doing is i'm going to click on that next which is on which side if i ask you the next button in purple is on the right side or the left side over to all of you you can answer where this uh, next button is tashkan diaries title given description given should i publish it now oh right now we should publish it after that is there anything explicit on it which requires age restriction i'll say no not at all it is completely educational or a friendly content which doesn't require anything is it a trailer is it a bonus or a name an extra or it is a full episode i'll say this is a full episode so what are the settings i'm doing everyone i'm putting a title on podcasters.spotify.com file upload and these things i'm giving it a published date however i can schedule it going on a vacation put up 10 episodes of lessons and then you are on a vacation your students can learn it it comes on regular days i mean on monday one is coming on tuesday one is coming on thursday one is coming another test is coming on sunday so it means you can organize it this is the benefit of uh, i would say putting it here clicking on the next side right so right people saying the right thing do you want to ask them a question interact so do you listen to podcasts i'm asking no this question i'm putting to you and it will come to you it is a poll which will come to all the listeners uh so that option i would say do you listen to podcasts i'll say yes and another one is no i mean just this just this thing do you listen to podcasts so i'm going to click on this publish poll so this will be coming to people who will be um, i mean Uh, listening to this episode on spotify on spotify they will be able to give uh, this thing i click on next so this is the third button first next took us to uh, the upload thing and then moved on to the qu- the quiz or uh, the questions that you can ask easily and then it is just ready this episode is a new entry description review everyone final publication duration yes you can listen to this this poll will be open for 5 days episode available for everyone publish here it goes there are facebook twitter and this copy link if i copy this link and maybe you or you can just go to spotify and find it out or you can easily type teacher perv and then this will be there so you can see all these are episodes just to um, ask for your support here that i have published these many episodes i mean 
uh, distribution has been happening here. Uh, even if you work on a Chitrahar or a Rangoli type of episode, Spotify is going to support you. Narrate, add the song. Narrate, add the song. So yes, that, that was not audible. I can see that, but we are going to have uh, the audio soon. So what we did, step one, make an account on podcasters.spotify.com. Make an account after that. Set up the account, give it a name under update settings, go to new episode, click on select a file, upload the file which is ready to be shared, everything is set in it. But you say, no, friend, we don't need to record, We, I want to record right now because I am a professor, I am a teacher, I am a very good thinker, I don't need to record something in advance and I want to record it now. I'll simply click on record or edit. It was on the left hand side, but the right thing on the left hand side, record. I'll click on record here. When I click on, see, record, library, message and transition, RLMT. Again, an important uh, uh, reminder regarding the quiz. Record, library, messages and transitions. Transitions are uh, from one scene in theater when you watch a natak or a drama, the, there's a music in between. So transitions, sound effects can be there. Messages. Spotify for podcasters gives a wonderful feature. All those who are listening to you can send you voice messages as their feedback. I'm telling you, you can even conduct Viva on it. So library is there. All previously uploaded audios will be saved. It is part of the episode, but it is also there in your drive, which is Spotify drive. Again, free, no charges, no limitation. But I will record here. I'll click on record. Now, should I select the microphone? Okay, this microphone, I'll select this one. I mean, all those microphones will be coming up. So again, it used to be Anchor, everyone. And this is a wonderful thing for you and me. Already CIET and NCRT webinars have got Anchor and Hubhopper tutorials, detailed one hour sessions that way. So you can also refer to the older recordings as well. Now record now. Let me just record just a one minute thing for all of you just to mention this thing. हेलो एवरीवन आप सभी का स्वागत है टीचर पर पॉडकास्ट्स पर मैं भाषाएं बदल सकता हूं मगर भाव नहीं बदल सकता यू कैन इजीली टॉक इन इंग्लिश यू कैन मूव ऑन टू हिंदी वापस तो लौट के आप सीखने और सिखाने पे ही आते हैं आज का यह पॉडकास्ट जो आप कुछ शरारतों के साथ सुन रहे हैं दिस इज बीइंग रिकॉर्डेड लाइव व्हेन एन एनसीईआरटी लाइव सेशन इज हैपनिंग ऑन 30th ऑफ जून इंडिया टाइम 4 टू 5 पीएम एंड दीस 24 25 सेकंड्स विल टेल आवर लिसनर्स दैट इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू रिकॉर्ड फॉर 30 मिनट्स इन द वेब ब्राउजर एंड दे कैन कीप ऑन स्पीकिंग कीप ऑन रिकॉर्डिंग एंड देयर लेसन विल कीप ऑन गेटिंग रिकॉर्डेड ऑन एंकर आप ऐसा भी कर सकते हैं कि एंकर की रिकॉर्डिंग को ऑन करके उसके अलग-अलग हिस्से रिकॉर्ड कर लीजिए आप स्टॉप पे क्लिक करेंगे आपका पहला रिकॉर्डिंग हो गया चाय पीजिए वापस आइए यू कम बैक एंड यू रिकॉर्ड अगेन सेकंड सेगमेंट एंड थर्ड सेगमेंट एंड ऑल सेपरेट सेगमेंट्स रिकॉर्डेड ऑन एंकर कैन बी जॉइंट टुगेदर विद इन दिस स्टूडियो व्हिच इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन सेकंड ऑप्शन यू कैन अपलोड वन ऑडियो फ्रॉम ऑडेसिटी एडिटिंग और समवेयर यू कैन रिकॉर्ड एन इंट्रोडक्शन इन एंकर एंड यू कैन जॉइन देम टुगेदर योर लिसनर्स विल फील दैट इट इज जस्ट वन सिंगल रिकॉर्डिंग I'm going to stop recording and I'll leave you to make the better use of it or the best actually. Thank you very much for listening and thank you again. So the recording is stopped everyone. You can see June 30, 2023, 4.17 p.m. And those of you who know Moodle, I hope you know Moodle. Moodle has got a thing in which we rename things. So I'll be renaming it. How I'll rename it? I'll click on that pencil and... I'll click here, N C E R T Live Demo, and I'll press Enter. N C R T Live Demo. This is this one. Now, uh, some visualization is required, and I'm glad that technology is putting a limitation on you and me that you have to trust me so that I can also trust you. I'm going to do these things, and you will see them. And when you will do, you will remember what C I E T and N C R T had brought to you about the the description. So NCRT live demo audio is ready. It is here. I'm not sure whether you got this. Hello everyone, but I'm going to again make it public. Add background music now. On Audacity, bring music from somewhere else. Spotify is podcasters platform. No need to go anywhere. Copyright free. Completely good music here is add background music. I'm going to put up. calm one i believe all of us are calm at present 
I'll keep this Balti one that I've been using. I will set the background. Sometimes you know what happens? Uh, your voice will be very low. So when your voice is low, the background music should not be high. So you need to check it when you're going to add. And everything is happening on everyone. Please see everything is not happening on app. It is happening on the desktop. A few features are less in the smartphone application. However, nothing is bad in the smartphone app. You just decrease the background music slightly and then you check it. I like it. Apply. Two files will be created. Someone can tell me the difference. If someone can tell me the difference, there are two files created. One is NCERT live demo, one minute and 23 seconds. Another file has got two differences. Then you know, bhed dhundi. I mean, find the differences. The differences are, um, because there's no price at present, so the differences are the duration has increased and there's a music icon on another side. I'll use this one. What should I do? I have option to drag it on left to right or I have option to click on plus. Which one you want? You want me to drag it this way to put it in my shelf of that kitchen or that uh, studio or you want me to click on plus. Both ways it will be added. So I'll drag it and put it here. You can see it has come here in my episode. I click on save episode. I recorded it. It is possible for me to add on more things. I mean Suppose I go to library and I say, uh, no, this Tashkent Diary 13 should also be there. Here it is. You add and it is part of it. You want to add this one, add this. You see, 1 hour, 19 minutes, 27 minutes and 1 minute. It is all together. It can be one episode as well, one by one. If you feel you want to change this order, change this order. So this can be there with and without music differences. Now I'll remove from episode. Removing from episode does not mean deleting from, I mean, the platform. Just removing it. Save. I'm saving it now. Untitled. Oh, should not be untitled. There has to be a very good title. Thank you. What should I say? Fellow learners. C-I-E-T, N-C-E-R-T, webinar 30 June 2023. And I will just copy the same content here because there are 4,000 characters that you can do. You can write a complete uh, article here, give audio, give the script here, let your students read it. Now, this is here. Everything is done from my side. What do you suggest? I'm not putting up any question here. I mean, let's avoid the question. You can even change this photo. You want to change this photo? Every episode can have a different photo, different chapter, different photos can be there. Season number seasons you know ott platform episode number maybe this can be episode number 39 full everything is happening and always remember the button to save and publish is on the top not at the bottom so required content is clean no age requirement here everyone can listen to it so here it is this is all set let me just take a minute of you and go to spotify just to check out whether our first episode, which was 13, uh, I would say, uh, episode, 13th episode has come there or not. Okay. So I'll move on. So uh, we have last couple of minutes left. Yeah, yeah, we are just, see, uh, this is evident on Spotify. I have opened open.spotify.com, everyone. Uh, the reason is I'm not able to put up in the, in, in I would, would say, uh, what can I say? I cannot put it uh, here. Uh, in the chat because the link will not be active as I'm not the admin you can go to Spotify type teacher per celebrating learning or just type teacher per and find out Tashkent Diaries episode 13 this has come it takes 10-15 minutes from you know you are publishing it in Nai Sadak, New Delhi it will take time to reach another city so those 10 days will not be there you just need to upload on Spotify's podcaster platform and it will come here that platform will also send your content on Google Podcasts. That platform will also give you a chance to send your content on Amazon Music. You will also get a chance to upload things on GeoSavan. I mean, you don't need to pay anything to GeoSavan. There is one thing that I would, I would bring it up now. I, I believe you will be able to go back to our demonstration in the last 10-15 minutes uh, when we were demonstrating will be, I would say, easy for you to understand. Coming up here again, let me bring up some interesting things. Uh, uh, 
Adobe, I mean, uh, the, the PDF Reader, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, they have a website, podcast.adobe.com. If you have an audio and you wish to remove noise from it and you wish to enhance your speech and make it good, use this website, upload MP3, download MP3, but improved one. Just an artificial intelligence tool which is there. You can just keep a screenshot of it and check it later. Now, Moodle, those of you who know, on Moodle you can design your massive open online courses and uh, small private open courses, SPOC. So you all can do it. I remember we, we launched a course on podcasts and education, uh, Dr. Ramesh Sharma, who is also a part of CIET's panel many a times. We, we launched this course in which we taught teachers and this course was part of Canvas. So Canvas is a learning management system on which you embed, um, I mean, say, I mean, you, you, your work. So these are the steps, just a revision thing. What do you do? Sign up, set the profile, record or already recorded one, then add a description, upload it, find the show on Spotify and other platforms. What will you do on for Hubhopper? Just the same process, nothing else, the same process. The only thing that you and I need to remember is it will take a bit of time for you to be familiar the same way you learn bicycle, you learn maybe cooking, you learn driving or any other skill. Now, there is one thing for all, uh, slightly those who are aware of technology more than us, RSS feed. You will generate RSS feed from your podcasters.spotify and you give your RSS feed to anyone, your podcast will reach there. This is slightly an extra, I would say, thing to do, but you can easily do it. From my side, I'm leaving you with this email ID, which is teacher parv, celebrating yourself as a teacher, teacher parv at the gmail.com or we are really connected through CIET's email ID also. And there's one thing to be mentioned here before concluding. Just look at the URL and this program's title, the abbreviation which happened, this development of e-content audio resources. This is D-E-A-R. So it itself becomes a very dear thing to you and me when we are talking about it. These are certain links. This presentation is there. You can take a screenshot. Uh, now there are applications. There are... Uh, mobile phone or websites also which will con convert the screenshot into text these are all the links dear friends even like there is a link for the video tutorial which is there on CIET and CRT website also you can keep this with you and through this it will be easily available to you Absolutely. how you take that embedding link the last thing is so this is on Spotify we do not have Go much to three time dots. left uh, could you please yeah, wrap last, up it is wrapping up so you just click on share, you click on copy episode link if WhatsApp required, otherwise click on embed episode. This is, this is an embedding link. Just click on copy. Now come back to this. This is a, this is a website or this can be a blog also. Go to HTML code, command V or control V. See, this episode is here now. I will just click on publish I'm talking about any website your college website your university website or something so you publish it you go to this a website which is eklavyaparv.com where you can easily find it we just published this one what I did no need to go to Spotify I have a website on which my audio is available you can click on it and you can play it I invite all of you to visit the websites visit uh, the podcasts be it learning radio or uh, be it Apple podcasts or be it Google podcasts, Amazon music everywhere. You'll find these. Any query, any question, we'll be happy to answer. Ma'am, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Though we don't have any time left, uh, I would ask you one question. This is uh, what we have received hmm. from Anju. So please uh, mm -hmm. answer it very briefly. Uh, he's, uh, she's asking, can you suggest any artificial intelligence tool for audio resources in the classroom? Uh, yes, there is one which is called Twee, T-W-E-E. -E. Twee okay. is just one, which is something in which uh, you can upload your text. It will create some very interesting things. You can check out this Twee. I just, I, I just uh, could find one quickly. Twee is one. There are lots many though, but Twee is one of them. Okay. 
Great. Thank you. Thank you so much sir, for being with us today. Most of the questions that we have received actually you have already answered. So I would request all the viewers if you will just watch the entire program you will get uh, the answers of all your queries which you are trying to ask. Sir thank you so much for being a part of this program. It was wonderful having you the, and the information you gave we got uh, a lot of compliments regarding this entire episode. So thank, thank you, you so much for making it a success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Stay a learner and keep making educational contents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, to all our viewers as well. I have received a lot of questions regarding the quiz, regarding the assessment and regarding the certificate. So it's time for me to show you that uh, if you have not registered yourself, please register yourself and uh, the link has already been uploaded on the link uh, on the um, website. So let me show you and before that I uh, just want to tell you that please allow us a 30 day time for uh, giving you the certificate. Uh, please have some patience and uh, for the link let me just show you here all you have to do is go to google type CIET on it and you will see the front page. Yes, here is the front page. Once you see this front page, uh, you can see that there are so many options, home, about us, amongst us is events. If you will click on the third last option, which is workshop slash training, another page will open. Scroll it down. In the current activity, you can see the discussion on development of e-content, audio resources. Click on it. Once you click on it, another page will open. And this is each and every detail regarding this online training. The schedule has been mentioned. Uh, the objectives are here. Who can participate? The schedule for each and every day from day one to day five has been mentioned here. And uh, here comes the QR code. So once you uh, scan this QR code, you can register yourself or click here, fill the form, uh, give accurate details and uh, submit. There you will get registered. Here you can see the quiz link has been uploaded and uh, today is 30th of June. You have time till 30th of July. That is one month you have to uh, be a part of this quiz and appear in this quiz. Once you score more than 70%, you will be awarded a participation certificate. So uh, if you have any feedback, here is the link. Click on it, submit your feedback, suggestions, advices, anything you have for the entire training and uh, this is the link if you have not seen the earlier programs the day one to day four click here and you will see all the links uploaded on our youtube channel that is ncert official and for any other query if you have uh, and you want to share it through email this is our email id training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in Thank you so much once again. I really hope that you will appear in this quiz and you will score a good percentage and uh, we'll be more than happy to assign you the certificates. So uh, more than 3000 people were watching this program and really, I really appreciate that you all gave us your time and uh, your uh, patience to be a part of this program. So here we are ending, wrapping up our five-day online training on development of e-content audio resources. Upcoming next is uh, another program that is Sayog, a very special program where we are going to discuss the topic, Yog, internal part of life for overall well-being. Please watch it and uh, keep your questions ready too. Apart from that, if you have not purchased your NCRT textbooks till now for the new academic session 2023-2024, please purchase, purchase it. There are multiple options. Either you can download the PDF versions from NCRT, Diksha or Epachala website or mobile applications or you can uh, place an order through the website which is ncrtbooks.ncrt.gov.in or otherwise you can directly go to the sales counter which are located in New Delhi, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Kolkata and Guwahati from 9.30 to 6 p.m. So this is everything regarding the NCRT textbook information and if in case you have missed it, please read it on the ticker which is being showed on your screens at the moment. I would uh, thank you once again for being a part of this program and giving us your time. I'm Tanvi Kurana. I'll take a leave of you. I really hope that you have a good day ahead. Namaskar.